if they if they fight, I just think that Crawford. You know why? Look, people don't give credit to Crawford when it comes to power, right? Movement. Crawford's got a lot of power. He's got decent speed. He's a so he's a he's a southpaw, a switcher. He's a switcher, yeah. and also he just makes you miss by them inches. Like he may who's making me miss, and I got speed. Who's making me miss by a little bit and just catching me over the top? I mean, I just couldn't get into my floor against Crawford. That's how good he was. And I remember last camp, last fight camp, he was there training with me. He come out and trained with me. We had a spar again. This time I was catching him a little bit more because obviously <laughs> I know what how to change my style and how, what I should have done instead. And I was catching him so much. I said, I thought, oh, I wish I was just like this. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 um, I mean, but you know, one thing about Crawford, he's very thick and big and strong, which we don't. El Spence isn't, is he? He's no, no, he, uh, look, you know what? Why I think... But now I know 100% why I think um, Crawford would beat him. If you look at the last fight against um, against the Cuban, uh, Ugas, yeah, Ugas. Ugas. Uh, <laughs> when Spence fought him, he was getting caught, but he he was getting pushed back a lot as well. And Ugas was not a guy to throw the right shots. He was just throwing shots, but he was giving, he, he was leaning in. If you look at how he was fighting, he was leaning in, giving, giving the uppercut. Whereas Crawford is more of a he keeps his hands out, keeps leans back, makes you miss and counter you. And also, I think he's a better technical fighter. Look, great fight. That. That's gonna be a great fight, though. That's we don't know, but you got look with what you okay with Spence. You've got power. Yeah. You've got so 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 speed. Yeah, he's not bad. He's he's quite quick still, uh, and he's got a good chin. Whereas with Crawford, he's only been down once in his career. Fought literally everyone. Um. Yeah, I just um, yeah. Crawford, Crawford gets your nod. Oh, hundred percent. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, right, well, and look, that, but for a boxing fan, listen, I'm a boxing fan now. I'm not a fighter anymore That's myself. It. I would love to watch that fight. I mean, that, in my opinion, is. What's the fight that excites you? Is that one? Those are the words of Amir King Khan as he predicts Terence Crawford to beat Errol Spence. <clears throat> And I already knew what he was going to say before he said it. I was watching this here just a second ago before sharing it with you guys. And he talked about Ugas and he said how Ugas was able to push him back. I'm going to counter and add more to that. Not only would he was he able to push him back, he was also able to hurt Ugas. I mean, Spence. Ugas was. And people didn't think that was expected coming from someone like Ugas because Ugas is not really known for punching power. OK, and he is right. The way Ugas did bend over, he was just kind of he was putting himself to be custom made, not saying he was custom made for Spence, but to be custom made for Spence due to his posture leaning in. Because if you stand in front of Ugas, he's going to beat your brains out like any other uh, technical offensive fighter like Spence. He's going to do that. You give him what he wants. He's going to take it. That's what Spence does. That's how he gets you. He breaks you down. He rips the dead body. It's a beautiful body combination. I love to see it because I'm, I'm a sucker for body punching. I'm a sucker for a process of breaking you down round by round with the body assault. So I'm, I am so accustomed to seeing that and I, I have so deep respect for that. That's why I love to see Spence dig to the body like he did Garcia, like he did Ugas, like he does a lot of, Ocampo is another one. He done that to a lot of people. Chris Algieri, okay, I keep naming them, naming them, naming them, Kell Brook, you know, so he is accustomed to breaking people down, <laughs> right? But Terrence Crawford is not going to do that. Like Amir Khan said, he is not going to allow you to set punches like that, first of all, because Terrence Crawford won't be in a position to get hit like that with those shots. Unless Ter unless Errol Spence gets, you know, bullies him into a corner and rips him to the body, like kind of like Canelo does. He kind of gets you there and bow, whacks you. But I don't really think that's what that kind of fight would look like. But then again, you'll never know until it happens. But uh, I do agree with uh, Amir Khan. I think Crawford would get Spence in a fight. However, I will leave you with this. To be fair, there is a such thing, and we don't really know. We don't really know. Not saying that what 
Amir Khan said was not true. What I'm going to say is, like I've always said, anytime you have a fighter that fights another fighter and he gets beat by that fighter and you know that you were decent yourself, you tend to be a newly became bandwagon fan by default, right? And that's exactly what I think Amir Khan has become, maybe. Maybe that's an influence from him to become in that particular ballpark of a person, you know, because he made Amir Khan do something that Amir Khan's never done. Quit. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Amir King Khan picking Terrence Crawford to beat Errol Spence. If that fight happens, of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.